let's sing songs of goodness to him and i believe as we do that there will be barriers that will be broken there will be relationships that will be restored there will be salvation people will come to know jesus there will be healing and there will be bondage is broken let's focus on him let's not focus on anything else you may not have the words on the screen but we know those words because those words are written on our heart lord we thank you for your presence here and we come here to worship you because we are your people we are your pastor and you are our god thank you lord do whatever whatever you want to do here lord in jesus name we pray yeah let's just all stand in his presence today Sing, oh, come.
Sing it again. Oh. 
heaven. And before we sing the next song, uh, just want to share something. In Jeremiah 33, 3, uh, Jeremiah writes, Call to me, and this is God speaking, Call to me, and I will answer. And tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. If you look at the context behind that verse, Jerusalem is in the final stages of siege by Babylon. And the people in Jerusalem know that some of them will die. Some of them will lose their limbs. Some of them will become blind. People in Jerusalem know that some of them will lose their freedom. And this is all created by them. The mess was created by them. And sometimes our lives can get into such a situation where we are facing a mountain in our life. But in all, in all of this mess, there is a message of hope. When you call to Jesus, when you call to God, He will answer. He will answer you because he's your way maker. He's your promise keeper. He's your miracle worker. And he is the light in the darkness. So let's worship him.
Even when, 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 even when,
it again. That is who you are. 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 Just now when we were singing Healing Heart, I felt very, very, very strongly that God just healed someone's heart. I can feel it from deep within me. I can hardly stand under the anointing. And so if you have a heart problem, claim it. Jesus just promised to heal your heart. We've been singing here and worshiping together in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Jesus died at Calvary for our healing. God is healing hearts today. Praise the Lord. Just lift up a shout. Lift up a shout. Jesus. Not only does God never stop working, but he never stops pursuing us. He is God with us. One of the names for Jesus is Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God with us. And this morning, I so love that Julianne was sensing that the Holy Spirit is healing hearts because the whole way through worship, my sense in God was that he was pursuing our hearts. He was saying to us, will you truly make me your home just as I have made you mine? I believe in this coming year, God is saying, there are going to be shifts. There are going to be some surprises. But if you will make your home in me if you will make your hope in me if you will make me your hope and your purpose and your life then nothing will be able to shake you and you will live in all that I have created for you to live in so Lord this morning as best as we know how we respond to you Emmanuel we respond to you Lord we don't understand we can't begin to grasp how the Lord who created the universe and every magnificent thing would want to dwell with us but you do you gave your life because of us Lord we are chosen and we are treasured Lord by you and Lord today we respond to you and Lord we want to place our hope firmly in you and you alone and you are our home, Lord. We are not at home with anyone else, anywhere else, Lord. You, you, Lord, are our home here and our eternal home. And Lord, with anticipation and with genuine excitement, we look forward to the coming year. We thank you, Lord, 
that we have plans and purposes laid out already ahead of us, Lord, because you have gone ahead of us and you have already made a way, Lord. And so, Lord, every situation can glisten with hope because you have already gone there. Lord, I ask that for all those who are struggling right now, Lord, who don't feel like they have a home, Lord, they don't feel like they fit in, Holy Spirit, would you do what only you can do and bring comfort and wholeness and draw the lonely into family, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for being our home. together hallelujah That 
seal the promise your very body began to breathe out of the silence yeah, the roaring lion and declare the grave has no claim on all right yeah we're gonna sing it again then came then came the morning that sealed the promise your very body began to breathe out of the silence out of the silence the roaring lion Jesus is the hope for today. He's not the hope for after death or tomorrow. He's the hope for today. He can bring change in our life today. He can bring salvation today. He can bring healing today. He can break bondages today. And because of that, He's the living hope. Living hope. Lord, we thank you because you are a living hope. You are with us all the time. We thank you for that. Yeah. 
let's be in, in this in his presence don't get disturbed if you want to sit you can sit while we are in his presence i just want to call upon randy Jesus, our living hope. We thank you for your presence, Lord. Yeah, thank you for your presence, Lord. Yeah, and that same spirit as Christ always welcomes us into his arms uh, at all times. Uh, we also want to welcome you the, here this morning, anyone who's here for the first time. Welcome, welcome to Lifehouse Church, to this family. Let's just give a clap offering. We're excited that you're here, that you've chosen to be here with us this morning. And we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, you're loved, and we are grateful that you're here with us this morning. And actually, there's a welcome lunch uh, just after the service at 12.30 p.m., 12.30 to 1.30 p.m., and it's at the Lifehouse Center. The address is 6600 Falconer Drive. It's just up the road from here, not far. And we would love to just spend time with you there and... Yeah, yes, exactly. Okay, this is a live feed, by the way. <laughs> I'm also being fed live. <laughs> but that's what we do, we're family. Um, so, yeah, we would love just to have lunch with you and just for you to have an opportunity to get to know us more and for us to get to know you more. So, you know, don't go out buying lunch. Just come be with us and have lunch with us. Um, so if, um, so sorry, it's gonna be start at 12.45, I just wanna correct that. So 12.45 at the uh, Lifehouse Center, that's 6600 Falconer Drive. And I'm just gonna ask you now, if you are planning to come, would you please raise your hands just so that we have an idea of how much uh, food to have ready there. I see some like half elbows. <laughs> it's okay, like, just put them high. We want to be with you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, absolutely. So I think so Sunit at the back, yeah, you'll see a lady, lovely lady in pink. So she, she's organizing it. So if you have any questions, you can see her at the info table at the back. And if you, you know, if you kind of were shy to raise your hand, just come see her before the end of the service and let her know that you're coming as well. That's amazing. Thank you so much to the worship team. Let's just say yay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and so we want to take up our tithes and offerings at this time. Uh, you'll notice there are blue baskets at the end of uh, the rows, and uh, that's, uh, it's a manual way that you can give, uh, but we also like to make use of technology here at LifeHouse. So there's a QR code up on the screens, and you can point your uh, camera uh, phone, uh, sorry, your phone camera <laughs> uh, at the QR code, and it'll scan that and direct you directly to the giving page. Uh, there's also the LifeHouse app, uh, push pay, and, uh, and yes, the manual, ancient but true way of an envelope and a pen. Um, just to go along with that, um, I, I would just want to share with you on, on the whole topic of offering um, and take you a little bit, just for like a minute, into my, my field. Uh, so I, I deal with uh, bankruptcy uh, law. And there's an analogy that just came to mind during the worship time. You know, when, when, someone, uh, when someone is declared bankrupt, it means that they are not able to pay all their creditors. They do not have enough assets to pay all of their creditors. So their debts are larger than their assets, what they have. And so when someone is declared bankrupt, all of their assets are now in the possession and, the, and are now the property of the trustee who takes care of the, the assets of the bankrupt, right? So everything you've got, you gotta hand over to the trustee. I don't know about you, but before, like without Jesus, I am so bankrupt. 
<laughs> towards God. <laughs> my sin, like there's no amount of righteousness that outweighs my sin. <laughs> I don't know about you, but maybe there's some holy people here. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, but I, I think it's a, it's a reality that we, without Christ, we are so bankrupt, <laughs> you know, towards God. He, he is so holy and he is so righteous. And we, in our own strength, are, are just, we, there's no amount of righteousness we can muster up enough. We've all fallen short of the glory of God, right? And yet, God only asks us for 10% of our assets. Like, come on, 10%. Isn't that crazy? And he lets us live in, not just lets us, he wants us to live in abundance. When you are bankrupt in the human system, you get just enough money to be able to live and get by. That's not God. He wants you to live in abundance. And all he asks is 10%. So let's, let's give him like 10% and more because we know he's good and he's been so good to us. Um, so there you go. There's a little law lesson, I guess. <laughs> unsolicitedly <laughs> legal information not advice just want to make that clear <laughs> um, so so on to just a couple of exciting things coming up December 20th the worship team um, yeah they they've dispersed amongst uh, amongst us now but the worship team we are so excited to um, invite you to our worship night December 20 that's a Friday night 7 p.m. Woo! <laughs> There's like, I, I, I think we're, we're having sleepless nights just because we're excited about this. So we are so excited to have you there. It's going to be awesome. We've been working on it. We've been preparing. So things are in the mix and, and we're all very, very excited for it. So please come out. It's at the Lifehouse Center. So 6600 Falconer Drive and December 20th at 7 p.m. And there'll be hot chocolate and cookies as well. Then we also want to remind you of the Lifehouse Family Christmas uh, service. So that's December 22nd. Uh, so that's just two days. Oh, sorry, I celebrate on the 24th. Um, that's three days before Christmas. <laughs> and um, oh, it's going to be awesome. We're going to have a bring and share lunch. And I really, really want to encourage you. Have, you. have you ever been to like someone's house and like you expected there to be dinner you expect it to be fed, you expect it to have a good time, sit at the table, and then they're like, oh yeah, I, like, I have this, I have a bag of chips. And you're like, oh, okay, I was kind of hoping for food. I don't know about you guys, maybe you guys are super polite, but you know, it's like, oh, you're looking forward to that meal time together, to talk, you know, eat together, and it's just, there's something about sharing a meal together. So we want to make, I just want to encourage you to help make sure that there will be a meal that we can share over. Um, so bring enough, bring more than enough. You know, this is the time to just say, God, you blessed me in abundance. I'm going to give in abundance. I want to share with my family in abundance. We are a generous people. That's who we are. Let's just live that out. Let's just enjoy that together, right? Awesome. I will, I just want to, I'll make a public statement. You can all be my witnesses. I will cook for that as well. So if I'm going to cook, I hope you all are cooking as well. Uh, so at this point in time, I have the pleasure of inviting up um, somebody from the young adults community for a very exciting event. I'm, I'm just going to let him do the plug because I think he can do it way better. So on my way into church today, I actually... Uh, a few people came up to me and said, why aren't you dressed up? Why aren't you in a suit? And I have a confession to make, guys. I actually had to give the suit back to Daniel Craig. Apparently, he's finishing off a James Bond film or something like that. But you guys can be suited up like that. December 14th, that's this upcoming Saturday, 7 p.m., the Young Adults Christmas Royale. $25 tickets. There will be entertainment. There will be hors d'oeuvres. Please see Randy, Adam, myself. We are going to come after you after church today. We want to sign you up. There are a lot of cool people coming. It's going to be a great event, guys. Thanks so much. So, you know, we have few, uh, we have one testimony and we have something that Sharon wants to ch share. I think God is doing amazing things in this community. So, uh, Merle, you want to come and uh, share a testimony, please? So 
so about two weeks now, my left knee, I had a really, really bad pain. And I, I couldn't bend it at all at all. It was really, 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 really serious. So um, some folks prayed for me. Um, Adam and his life group, they prayed for me. And the ladies on Thursday morning, they prayed for me. And my friend Daniel, he prayed for me. And um, Tosha prayed for me last Sunday morning. And this morning, you see, I can bend it. I, I could not bend it. I, I, I really couldn't bend it. And now, you see, I can walk. I, and, you know, I thank God so much. And um, when I went to the doctor, he sent me to get an, an ultrasound and an x-ray. So it was ready yesterday, and I went, and the doctor tell me absolutely nothing is wrong. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, I, have a, I still have a slight, a slight pain, but the doctor told me with time, it would just go away. So praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So Sharon, you want to come up? Yeah, so. So actually, we may, we may uh, go over by a few minutes because God is doing such wonderful things and we don't want to, you know, cut short anything. Okay, so I'm giving it to Good morning, beautiful church. Awesome, awesome. So um, probably, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I had a dream and um, just been, it's been sitting in me and whatever, shared it with a couple of people and um, but this morning as we were worshiping, it was so powerful and that dream came back and I'm like, oh yeah, and I was getting excited about it. So in the dream, I, um, I walked in through the back door of the gym here and all the lights were, were out. And I thought, oh, the rest of the people haven't arrived yet. And um, walked into the gym with some of the other ladies and... Um, I looked up to the front and I saw um, someone laying tape out on, on the floor. And I thought, oh, well, the tape's being laid out for the chairs to place the chairs out. And I thought, I said to them, oh, let's go and help out with, with the chairs. And um, so I just try and remember all of the dream. I uh, turned around to grab a, a chair. And when I turned around to grab a chair, I looked behind me and there was... Uh, people in white robes and they were laying out chairs and the chairs went I, I couldn't see how far the chairs ha were and it looked like they were laying out the chairs from the back and bringing them forward um, but there was just I couldn't see the, the end of chairs that, that were being laid out and of course we know um, you know, the harvest, we hear about the harvest, we hear about, you know, lost souls and whatever, but I really feel like, you know, God has really been preparing us and uh, all hands on deck because there's, there's a great um, harvest coming. There's a great, it might be your family members, it might be your friends, it might be your neighbors, and so I just encourage you, all hands on deck, 2020's coming. Let's let's go for it. God says, let's go for it. Yes, bless you. This is awesome. Yeah. So I didn't see the ushers uh, going around. Did the ushers go around already, or no? Okay. So if uh, ushers are at the back, can can you please uh, take the baskets around, please? It did already. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I've been uh, more than proactive, I guess. So. <laughs> okay. Cool. So let's uh, let's pray and uh, and you know for the word and also for the for the offering. Um, Heavenly Father, we we thank you for uh, for all the gifts and offering. Lord, you every, everything comes from you, and everything we have got is from you, Lord. And and we just we and, and we're bringing these gifts and offerings to honor you, to bless you, Lord. We thank you for that, Lord. We pray that these uh, gifts and offerings will be used for your glory for the extension of your kingdom, Lord. We pray for the word today, uh, as uh, James will preach on, um, on, on, on the last uh, principle of core value, honor affirms value, Lord, that, that bondages will be broken, Lord, that, that relationships will be restored and barriers, there are some barriers, if there are any barriers, they will be broken, Lord, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we, we thank you once again. We, uh, we just leave everything uh, 
uh, anything that is stopping us from receiving the word, we just to ask that to go, and we prepare our hearts uh, to receive um, this word and, and produce hundredfold fruit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Colin, you had that. You had a word. Is that? Oh, okay. The um, well, just with that. You know, one of the things that we're, we're really wanting to encourage, and it was great watching some words come up uh, this morning. <clears throat> you just turned me down a little bit. I'm echoing, and there we go. And, uh, you know, we really, you know, the prophetic is such a key part of our community, and, and we want to see those prophetic voices and us be becoming more and more comfortable sharing words and things that God is, is giving us. And as scriptures were being brought up and different words were being brought up this morning, we just you know, really have a sense that in this next year that's going to increase for us as a community. <clears throat> I'm, I'm speaking this morning the last of our core, this core value of honor affirming value. And uh, my iPad is playing all kinds of tricks with me up here, so we're going to let it catch up with me. One, two quick things before I get into that. <clears throat> Try to clear the throat. There we go. Two quick things. One, this is actually Lee and my last Sunday here before Christmas. So for those that don't know, we're, I'm actually ministering in Scotland next weekend. And then Lee's family, her brother, moved to Northern England last year with his five boys, and it's her dad's 80th birthday, so the family from South Africa is coming to Northern England. We're, after Scotland, going down to Northern England and having Christmas together there. So I, I love, well, thank you for the, I actually love Christmas here, you know, and just this time of year, so we're going to miss being here, but it's actually a wonderful thing in the 